All right, another very neat feature of this scope is you can have two time bases um, that you can toggle between in this mode. And this allows you to magnify the waveform, which I'll show in a second, by changing the delay. Uh, but here's A at 5 microseconds, and here's B at 1 microsecond. Now, the way you set these is A, you just press A and set it. We'll leave it at 5. And press A and tense. And then this lets us edit B, which I'll just set at 50 uh, nanoseconds. And if you press B, there's the form. Um, and we can scroll by hitting time. So we can actually see the edge and do some measurements on the edge of the waveform. This repeating waveform at about 150 kilohertz. Uh, you can see how it's kind of choppy. I think that's the signal generator. Uh, if you wanted to kind of smooth it out, you could average the waveform. Uh, to do that, you go to Acquire and select Average. And you can actually keep pressing it to change the averaging. The higher the averaging, the longer it takes because it has to average more things, but um, it makes it a lot prettier waveform. So that's basically how you can scroll a waveform. You know, and really dig into it. Look closely at things like overshoot, undershoot, and the ramp there. Uh, if I did want to use, really measure that closely, I would just go here, time, and select my differences there. It's about 109 nanosecond on the falling edge of that thing. I can actually measure the slope as well just by moving these two cursors. It's 230 volts per microsecond. Um, time can be converted to frequency just with that. And you can measure voltage. So anyway, that is how you magnify. Uh, the only other thing I could show here is under measure, you can do a snapshot and it'll show you everything. Fall time, 94 nanoseconds all this kind of thing, mid, I'm not sure all, what they all mean, but um, that's pretty much it for the how to magnify or scroll on a wave. Um, let, me do, let me end the video there.